Good morning, guys. Today is Tuesday, June 9th, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the three R's. Now, what does this have to do with uh, what we've been talking about? Well, you just got done uh, watching, you should have gotten done watching uh, Bill Nye's The Science Guys episode on garbage. And we know that garbage equals trash, and trash is equal to, oh yes, Ladies and gentlemen, pollution, and that's where we're, where you know how it's all kind of uh, coming together. And what he talked about is that you know humans make a lot of trash. All right, Human, no, no. humans aren't equal to trash; they may make a lot of trash, a lot of trash. All right, and the problem is, is that we're making trash that is non-biodegradable. That's how I spell it. There you go. So it's non-biodegradable. And what that means is that it does not break down back into the environment so it can be used. So animals and plants, they, they create trash too, but their trash, such as leaves and shells and feathers and things of that nature, bones, those things break down break back down into the environment and the environment can then reuse them again. Humans, unfortunately, we make a lot of trash that's non-biodegradable, like plastics. Plastics are a perfect example of something that does not break down. Plastic will be there until the, you know, for another thousands and thousands and thousands of years. And so therefore our trash just begins to build up and build up and build up and build up. And so therefore it is non-biodegradable. We can't get rid of it. And so how the heck are we going to get rid of it eventually? Well, the, there's, all, there's three ways. Number one is reducing. Number three is re, number two is reusing. And number three is recycling. Now, this is the easiest way. The three R's, you know, I know you know what these are, so I'm just going to kind of go over them again in a very little, for a, a very short time, and then we'll talk about it, um, and how we can actually do that in our own lives. So reducing, you know, what is, what is reducing? Well, reducing is not using as much. That's the first thing, you know, instead of going out and buying a case of waters with 24 bottles of water, in it, just buy one. If you're only buying one, then you've reduced the amount of trash that you're making. All right, you're not using as much, you're not making as much trash. And not only that, think about it this way. If you don't use as much product, you're not using as much product, and you're not making as much trash, then therefore power plants and factories don't have to make as much product as well. And so therefore, you're not using as much product, you're not making as much trash, and factories are reducing and not making as much pollution because they don't have to make the products as well. All right, the less products that they have to make, the less pollution that they make, you're reducing the amount of products that you use, you're reducing the amount of products that factories have to make, you're reducing the amount of pollution that you're putting out there, and you're reducing the amount of pollution that factories are putting out there. So reducing is, is really like, is twofold. It's not only what you're doing, but, but what, by you reducing and by you not using as much, the factories and the power plants aren't using as, uh, making as much as well, and they make a lot of pollution as well. So it's twofold. Reusing, obviously, this is pretty simple. You're using something again. You're using something again, and again, and again, and again. Reusing it over and over and over again, and therefore, if you're reusing something, it's not, the, the, it's not going in the trash. So therefore, if you're using something, there's less trash. There's less garbage. And finally, recycling. Everyone wants to say, oh yeah, put it in the recycling can. Well, what exactly are you doing when you're recycling? You're changing something. Changing an item from something old to something new. 
All right. When you take a Coke can, you drink it, you throw it in the recycling can, it becomes a root beer can. Sure, a can has become a can. But you know what? You can actually take that can and you can make it into a brand new product. You can do that as well without sending it to the recycling plant. You can make that can into a bird feeder or something else. You're taking an old object, something that you would normally throw away, and you're creating something new out of it. So these are the three R's. Reducing, reusing, and recycling. Reducing, you're not using as much, you're reducing your use of it, which therefore makes reduces the amount of trash, makes less trash, and also then factories are also reducing the amount of pollution and the amount of product that they make. Reusing, you're, you're, you're using something again, you're taking it, and you're, and you're using it again and again and again, making less trash. And then, of course, recycling. You're taking something old and you're making it something new. After you watched my little lesson and you've also watched Bill Nye's Science Guy's episode on garbage, I'd like for you to fill this out. It is list five things that you and your class, your family, your you and your class can do to reduce, reuse, and recycle in the chart below. And this will be used for your last project of the year. That's right. I said last project of the year that I will be giving out tomorrow. All right, guys. Thanks a lot and have a good day.